Okay, whoever feels like that. Yeah, I stitched this up. This is my first finish for 2017. Um, hey, hi floss tubers. I guess I should start out with doing this on my own. You know, daughter started me on this that she left me. She's in Florida. I am here. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I'm not very technical. So, we're going to give this a whirl. Anyhow, back to this. This is Cloud's Factory. I cross stitch so I don't kill people. Do we ever feel like that sometimes? I do. Um, I stitched this up as my first finish this year. Frame is um, was in my stash. I know I've talked about this on my Instagram, on my blog. I, I have a, a stash of frames. I think I paid a buck ninety one for this frame from the thrift store. Um, painted it up black. Worked out just perfect. Gotta say I love it. Gotta say I gotta get used to doing this filming thing. You know, going this way, that way. Kind of confusing. So, that was my first 2017 start and finish. I started it on New Year's Day. I think I finished it around the 4th or 5th. Got that done. My next one is um, a, from Dying to Stitch, their um, Ladies Prim Society Club. Blackbird Design. It's called Tis the Season Sewing Bag. It's, um, the front of it. This is the back side. Made it into this cute little bag. Gotta say the dang thing is cute. It is really cute. Wasn't really that hard to do. This one I started on um, Christmas Day. Finished it up. I'm not sure when. Right after the first of the year though. I think, I can't remember if it was before. I'm, I'm not sure if it was before or after I did my cross stitch so I don't kill people. That was my second finish for 2017. My third finish is this drawn thread. It's the Wayward Garden. I'm hoping you can see it all. Because I'm still, like I said, getting used to doing this dang floss tube -y thing. Um, this one was a whip. Now I talked about my whips uh, in my last, I think my last video, when I did that great big Christmas stocking. I've been inspired to pull out my whips by when I listened to some of the floss tubers out there who have lots of starts and whips. I, I really love to start stuff and you'll see that by the whips I have. I think I have, I don't know, 20 plus whips. And some of them are fairly old, like my Christmas stocking one was really fairly old. I started that like in 1990. And I don't know, I got about halfway done with it and I set it aside and I just didn't pick it up for a very long time. And I really wanted to finish it, finally did. This drawn thread piece is a piece I started working on, I think in 2008 or 9. I, I worked on it when I had, a, when I worked and I would work on it on my lunch hour and I had the whole outside border and most of the flowers in I think when I picked it up again just recently I can't remember exactly when I picked it up I probably have it written down somewhere but I'm not prepared I guess so I picked it up and I thought I'm going to finish this and it was kind of painful for a while and then all of a sudden it just kind of clicked and I moved on and got it done and I do have another frame that I found in my stash that's going to work perfectly. I paid like two sixty two for that frame, so it was a really good deal. I just had to paint it, which I am just kind of waiting for that to set up and dry, and then I'm going to try to get this frame. So 
maybe my next um, floss tube, um, I will have it done and show you show you that. So that's my second whip that I've gotten done. I really would like to start some new stuff as I have tons of stuff to do, but I, and and I and I may because. I don't stick to any kind of schedule. I could tell you that I'm going to do all these whips and or I'm going to do yada yada yada. But let's face it, you find something new you want to do or you have some kind of commitment stitching you need to do and you don't always follow through. So my theory or my um I don't know, schedule, rotation, plans, however you want to say it, is that I don't really have any. I'm going to do what I feel like doing when I feel like doing it. It's that simple. But I I, I did pull out another whip that I have. Um, this one is with my needle. Um, it's called Quaker Samplings 3, I believe. I had just this one uh, right here, this done, um, when I picked it up. So this is my progress so far. I've worked on it for a couple of days. Um, show you what it's going to grow up to be. Here's what it'll grow up to be. Um, this piece was done in red, of course. I am doing mine in Cream de Mint by their Belle Soise in a green. It's like green. So we'll see how far I get on this little bad boy. I've really got an itch to start some new stuff, which I, I did start a new piece only because I need to finish a burst sampler. I have six grandkids, one on the way in March. So of my six, I have five birth samplers done. And grandchild number two, hers took a little longer. I made a mistake. I sat it down. I didn't pick it up for a real long time because I debated if I was going to tear out the mistake I made. I finally did. And you know, once I did that and picked it up, and it didn't take very long to do. I did finish that one back in August. But that was for grandkid number two. I had three, four, and fives done. So this one is uh, the drawn thread birth sampler or birth band sampler. So this is how far I'm, I've gotten. Um, I have a little bit more to, to do to get to where it's the height. I'm kind of just putting the bands in and working my way up and then I'll do the birth information and fill in the other stitches and whatnot. So I have this one to do now. This grandkid, number six, he'll be three in March, March 5th. And then his sibling is going to arrive around the 25th of March. So that'll be my seventh birth sampler and I thought I gotta get this sixth one done before I start number seven. So this is kind of a commitment stitch that I need to do plus once the next baby arrives I'll have a Christmas stocking to do as I it's another thing that I do for each one of the grandkids is um, a Christmas stocking so I'll have that to do this year for Christmas and then I also have, I'll have seven ornaments to stitch for the grandkids because every year I do an ornament for the grand, each grandkid, which, you know, now I'm going to spend every other month pretty much making sure I get some kind of um, Christmas ornament done, although I'll probably procrastinate and do them all in November. So that is not necessarily a whip. It's a commitment stitching. So I just, I guess I did start something. See already, I 
but there's some things I'd really like to start that I'd like to stitch just for myself. So with that, I'm going to show you some of the um, whips I have. I've been trying to unearth them all. And of course, these whips are like huge. First one I've got here came out of a magazine. Um, cross stitch and needlework. I'm not even sure that that magazine is not even going to be around now. So here's my working copy of it. Here's what the what it is. It's a sampler. Adam and Eve. And I I was really seriously thinking. I, I worked on this, I started this probably six years ago. And why I stopped, I don't know, but I, I am, you know, I am this far on it. I don't know what, but then I was looking at it. I'm not quite sure I like the colors, but at this point, it's kind of a mood point. So I may try to do something to, I don't know, distress it, because I think some of these colors are just too pinkish. I don't know, I hope you can see. I hope you can see. I don't know if you can see how pink some of that is. But anyway, so I had seriously thought about not doing it, not finishing it. But I'm so far, I've got so much time in it. My friend Jill said, nah, I really probably should finish it. So that is on my agenda. Not sure when I'm going to start that or, you know, finish, start working on it to finish it. But that's one of my, one of my little things. Another thing, I've had this, I can't even tell you how long I've had this. And I've done so little on it. And I'm sure part of the reason is it's a one over one. It's a Marine Appleton. It's, um... This is all I've got done. It's the Friendship Band Sampler, I believe, is what it's called. And I have so little stitching done on it. But I've had this forever. I've wanted to do it. I was going to see if I could find the front of it. Yes, here it is. Oh, Friends in the Garden. That's what it's called. This is the finished product. What it's going to be when it grows up. God only knows when it's going to grow up. Um, so yeah, that, it's kind of a big project. I, I've got a couple friends. I'm pretty sure one of my friends has probably got it done. I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Um, another one over one project I have. A little model basket. Yeah. It's this. It's, what is it? Oh, hillside samplings. A little model basket by hillside sampling. And as you can see, cute, 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 cute. But it's done on 36. Guess it's over two, it's not an over one, but it's so tiny. Let's see, can you see it? There we go. So that's how far I am on that. Not very far on that either. Hmm. When do you think that's gonna get done? Not sure. But I have good intentions on getting it done. There are a few of these things, I think. Hmm. Not sure I'm going to do. I have a 15-sided Biscorn U that I've started. Again, here's that little mess. Or the starting of it. I don't know. I have really good intentions. Heavens knows when they're going to get done. So if that, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that one. But maybe. Maybe if the mood strikes. Hope to see if the mood strikes. Um, another, this one, is an over one. 
Why did I start this over one? Not sure. Um, these are, let me tell you what it is. Lizzie Kate Flippets, the monthlies. Yeah, got really wild and decided, hey, should do that on a band over one. Dang cute. Really cute. I've got three months done. Again, that one of these things do I want to finish this? Probably should. Probably will somewhere along the line. Not sure when. So, Lizzie Kate. Flip it monthlies. Another project. Not even sure what I was going to do with these. I must... I must have thought I was going to finish them. Another Lizzie Kate Flippets. What were they? Christmas Blessings with Charm. This little series. So, of course, you know, there's 12 of them. I have this one started. I do have... I don't know, five or six of them done. Again, cute. They each have a little charm. That one done. I have this one done. There's a little charm even on that one. Three, four, and five. Plus, I've got the sixth one. There's that one at home. I've got it started. So, I guess really, oops, there we go. I probably will do these because, let's face it, they would be really quick to stitch up. So, I really need to get busy on that. Stitch them up. Get them out of my UFO or my whip pile. Done and done. I've got, this one really shouldn't take too long to do either. Not sure why it's not done. Here's how far I am on it. Stitching it on 36 count. This one is called Friendship Pin Pillow by Heartstring Samplery. And I don't think I even have a picture of it. I have a black and white picture, not a good one. But, um,. Like this. Can't really see it very well. But, yeah, that's another one. Got to get her done. Again, probably wouldn't take that long to stitch. Just need to sit down and do that. So, that, this one here, went to a retreat at our local needle workshop mm, a few years back. Um, Jeanette Douglas was the teacher. So this is a retreat class piece. That's what it's going to be when it's all grown up. It's called Three Pines Sampler. Yeah, had a good start on this. Probably did this all during retreat. I'm trying to see which end is up so that I've got it right side up. Here's my progress. So again, just need, this one has lots of specialty stitches, so I should sit down and do that someday. That's another one on my to-do list. I have a really teeny tiny bookmark to do, I was supposed to do this for my grandson. Uh, this little bugger, again. Why isn't this done? Well, not really sure. Because if I would get going on it, I'm trying to figure which side is up here. This is the upside. That's all the farther I am. Again, it wouldn't take long to do if I just sit down and pull it out and do it. So I have that. Um, I have this beaded 
Beaded Fob. A snowflake for Anna by Tomorrow's Antiques. Yeah, I just have a black and white picture. But they're beaded fobs. There was four of them. This is a snowflake one. I don't have a colored picture of it, so you'll just have to, have to drag out my other fobs I did. There was a strawberry, a pansy. Not sure. Can't remember the other one. And then this snowflake one. Again, haven't worked on it. I, I think this has been in my stash for too long. Probably 10 years or so. Another another thing I need to get off my list of whips. Um, this one here is a four-part series that came out of just cross stitch in 2011 nonetheless. Um, this is one of the, it's a four-part series so there's it must have started in March of 2011. So it was in the March, April, May, June. Um, why do I have September? Oh no. So it must have been in the March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, and October. I don't know. Now I don't even see all the magazines here. Kind of making me wonder. I don't usually start at the top of the project, so this is, this is probably why I have procrastinated because, of course, when the projects are released, they start at the top and work their way down. I should have just waited till they were all out. But here, it's a season, it's a four season one. So here's my, my first, first, and I gotta start on the second season. So, let me see if I can find the total picture of the finished project. Sorry, I'm not more I'm not more prepared for this apparently. Yep, here it is. Here's what the project looks like all grown up. So, you know, I'm about a quarter of the way done. Another project I just need to devote some time to. Just pull it out and start stitching. So there's that project. I must not have all of my whips up here because this isn't going to be 20 whips. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. My next one is a Blackbird Designs Flowers for Sarah needle case. It is this piece. Um, so I'm that. And here's my pathetic progress. So far, not much. Need to pull her out though. Get busy. Um, here's another big project. I've had this project in my stash for ever. I've 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 had it's and they send. I I can't tell you how long I've had it, and I really I really do want to stitch this one. But of course, this is all the farther I have gotten. Sorry for the wrinkles. Not very far. One of my friends is stitching this too. I think I just need to try to devote a day a week or something to that. And last but not least down here, in here is a lot of people are working on this one. Um, this is in a forest screw. I I do have a pretty good progress on this one. I mean, it's 
not too bad, is it? How do you manage to do this? Look at the camera, try to get your stuff in the camera, and if you're old like me, try to see yourself in this little screen without like using my bifocals to see it, and it's probably just far enough away that I can't really see what I'm doing. Not sure I'll ever get used to this. I guess maybe I will. It seems like everybody does, but it's it's taken me a while to adjust to this, folks. And I don't know, maybe I won't ever adjust to it. We'll see how far we get on this since I'm going to be doing this on my own. Although maybe my daughter from Chaz will, you know, be doing my editing from Florida because she can get into my stuff. The other thing I've been working on, I've, I've made some project bags. I've sold some project bags, so thanks for all of you who have, you know, ordered some. I think, I hope you're happy with them. I know I have a ton of them, more of them than I probably should have because I have too many projects. So I'm just show you, this is one of my project bags. I have this little, oh, let's turn it around because on this side it has a little bee so and a little crown on it so queen bee which in scissors on the inside I'm a scissor collector I'm going to drag them out and show them someday and then here's the back of my bag crowns for the queen of quite a, quite a lot I saw this fabric I thought mm, I need to have one of those just just two and I'm um here's another one I made this cute little yellow flowery one got this little charm probably hard to see got this little charm from the Missouri Star Quilt Company when I was down there um, last week last weekend I was there or a weekend ago cute 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 this one I love this inside fabric Do you, if you can see it looks like little cross stitches it's just so dang cute and then because I don't know lots of sewing little so yeah that that's another one of my bags I really want to thank you again for purchasing I want to let you know that I will do custom orders I can make these bags any size as you can see right here this is one of the larger bags I make. Um, it's a little bit bigger than than this standard bag. This is the standard one for standard size patterns. This and this one here, these go together pretty well because these will hold, you know, your half patterns that you get. Um, or they could hold your accessories, although there's enough room in your standard bag for your, um, all your paraphernalia, your patterns and whatnot. And then I also can sew up these little bags. So yeah, if you have any interest, you can go to my Facebook page, which is made by Mama Joan. I post, um, sometimes I post stuff I'm doing on Instagram, so you can follow me on Instagram, made by Mama Joan. Um, I think that's probably about it, I think. As for plans, everybody talks about their plans. Let me tell you what my plans are. I think my plans are I have no plans, because I don't want to limit myself to feeling like I have to do Certainly, just like my whips. I really want to get my whips done and I really want to sp spend some time doing my whips but I know I am going to want to do new stuff or stuff I have so I'm gonna try to finish a whip maybe and then reward myself with a new start maybe. I don't know. You'll, you'll have to see. I will keep you informed on 
and what I plan on doing from now on. You know, mood changes. Crap happens. We'll see what happens. So that's kind of the update on what's going on here on the homestead. Um, I just I just keep planning on plugging along here. I'll let you know what my progress on my birth sampler is and the start of my next birth sampler. I'm going to be doing birth samplers for a while. I'm going to be doing some commitment stitching. Um, I hope everybody's having had a great weekend. And those of you who have today off, Martin Luther King Day, have it off. Hope you're having, hope you're stitching. Hope you're stitching. So I just want to, with that, say thanks for stopping in again. I don't know, we'll see how this goes if I keep doing this, how well I do on my own. Maybe I can get a guest appearance from one of my other daughters that can help me with this. Um... But anyway, I hope everyone has a good week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.